Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show this function where if let's say you have a requirement that you want to capture the value that is occurring on the last day of every year. In that case this function which I'm going to tell you in a minute is something provide you the output which if you need to compare let's say with rest of the other values or for any other reason if you want to capture that value for any summarization or calculation then you can do that also if you have a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel then you will find just information for you that you will find this sheet uh, in the description the link of the sheet into the description so that you can easily access uh, all of my previously uploaded video also some of the videos which I've recently recorded here and uh, you can search any of the video very easily by pressing ctrl f since it is a google sheet and jump to the video using the link which is present in the column b and uh, since it is live sheet all of my future videos will be updated like right now i'm working with this calculating month to date cumulative values so all of those i list here and uh, as i find time i record it so this list will always be updated so make sure you bookmark it and use it whenever you want to learn about a particular topic all right with that let me move on to the power bi so here we are in the power bi and uh, what i'll do is select the orders table and uh, <coughs> click on new measure and uh, here in the measure i will simply say value at the last day of year i mean you can create the name whatever you like i'm just going ahead with a very straightforward one for this tutorial purpose so the function i will going to use is the closing balance year so as it takes is the uh, expression the dates if you want to specify any filter as in filter and then year and date which these two are these two uh, parameters are optional and i will show you just with the help of these two parameters you get the output as needed because rest of the others like filter or year and to date is something is an optional okay so here first of all the expression i will going to specify is the sum of sales the order sales table so here in the orders table you have down there um, sales over here the sigma is indicating that it is a measure and then what you have is basically the order date okay so here in the orders table you have the order date and that's pretty much it we need to at least start with this right just to keep the things very simple now we have this if i go down there we have this uh, new measure created value at the last year of every year i will just select this table which is showing you entire year value and if i add it over here right you will go down since we are in march so whatever is the 31st december value will commit over here so if you see 31st December, the value is 5253 and that is what it is capturing over here. The value which you are seeing right now is the uh, the most latest years, the most of most latest year, the 31st of December. So if you go down, which will be like way too much down because it's like multiple years, as you can see, uh, we will find that 713 is the value that has been recorded on the year 2020. December 30, 713 is the value that you are getting over here. So that's the behavior you should expect when you are creating this value. However, in scenarios like those where you absolutely need the value uh, for that for the last day of year for any comparison or calculation or KPI or anything, this is a function you will going to use and within few seconds you will have the output. So that's pretty much I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, let me know if you have any question and I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic.